So we got this, and I think I've already opened it. No, okay. These came in the mail. These are our new headlights. changes the look of the truck as well. So this is more of the up-to-date 2002, 2013 trucks. Um, company reached out to us and um, we're gonna try these, see what, they, what happens. Uh, I do know that I will be putting um, LED lights in these instead of what I did before, the HIDs. Um, so yeah. I'm not gonna take them out of the plastic right now. We'll see once we install what they actually look like. So now I need to give um, our friends down at Cranked Audio a call to see if we can get these installed. Let's give them a call. So as you can see, I've got these headlights it's starting to come apart here. Um, I've noticed, where is it, over here. Um, where or maybe it's in the back but there's somewhere maybe it's on the bottom um i can't remember where now there was a little bit of a, a crack or something i can't remember but yeah uh, here i don't know you can start seeing a bit of weathering in there um I, i've never seen any moisture in there but you can start seeing a bit of that because it gets gunked up. I have the same issue in the back. So these headlights are going to get changed out to something a little bit more modern, changing it out to a 2022 look headlight. So we are off to probably Lordco, um, maybe Napa, we'll see. Um, I need to find a piece uh, for my headlights. Now, when my headlights were replaced the first time, uh, he just cut the wires, um, eliminated the whole plug and play. Uh, I'd rather have it back to the way it was with the plug and play system. It's easier to replace down the road if I need to. And, you know, just plug it in and we're good. Instead of trying to wire everything. So I'm heading down to Napa, no, no, Napa Lorco to get that piece first. And then I'm heading over to have the mechanic put in the lights. Um, so let's go to Lorco. There's some of the parts. So Lorco, they're missing one part that I need. Um, they have it online, but I'm heading over to the yard right now uh, where we actually keep our sea can for work um, to see Tamis. Tamis did the work on our work cube van that we had taken to a shop and uh, they had messed up and kept on taking it back, kept on charging us for it. Uh, I took it to Tamis. Tamis did a thorough, complete inspection on it, and for half the cost of what it took the other shop to do and wreck it, um, he fixed it. And in doing so, he also discovered that they messed up. They actually over tightened a piece um, that, you know, it has to stay there, uh, otherwise, it's a $2,000 fix because of their mistake. Um, I did confront them about it. They basically told me to take a hike and um, I'll never use them. Now, I haven't used them personally under Van City Venture. That was under work. So I can't personally uh, or Van City say anything 
negative about them. Personally though, dealing with them, uh, on that occasion, I would never use them. Um, there's very few diesel shops that are in the Langley, Surrey area. And now that I'm talking to some other people, they don't recommend them either. Now they also do off-road vehicles, but I would never have them touch my vehicle. So, kind of sad, but it's what it is. There's a lot of clowns out there. Um, so yeah. So the sea can sits at a friend of mine's place, um, where we store stuff for uh, trade shows and stuff like that. And he has a shop there, and they did offer it to me to rent. Um, but I can't justify those costs. I would love to have a shop that I actually fit in because I don't fit in my garage. And when you need to do stuff sometimes, it's easier when you got a shop that you can fit into. And Tamas did rent that space, um, but he's no longer doing that. But he's actually there today, uh, told me to come on down and, you know, put the headlights in so that's where I'm heading and uh, you know sometimes it, it pays or it's um, it's easier to to do things on a weekend when uh, it's not so busy out um, besides in the work week I'm busy so when you don't work for yourself it makes things a little bit different because you can't take the same time that you used to um, I do have a lot of hours banked, um, but I'm not that kind of person. I mean, I'll probably use it for, you know, a rally here or, um, uh, you know, some sort of trip or something like that. Um, but it is what it is. We, we work weekends sometimes for trade shows. Um, we got a couple trade shows coming up and I think that will be it for this year until next year. So I think there's one in May, one in June, and I think that is it. Um, but we'll see. But let's go see Thomas. Ah, oh, that sucks. Um, Thomas doesn't want to touch them because they're aftermarket and with these trucks they're very sensitive and it's true. Uh, if there's any change in that voltage, it will detect that um, there's no nothing there and it'll just turn things off. Um, I do remember the last uh, mechanic that did the light saying that. Um, there are canvases and stuff like that that can you know help with all that, but he doesn't want to risk it and he is leaving for Saskatchewan. Um, in a few days, which is too bad. A great mechanic. Um, he did an awesome job on our cute van. So the hunt still be, or the hunt still continues to find a mechanic that can replace these lights and, um, maybe I'll do it myself. I mean, realistically, how hard is it? <laughs> Famous last words, right? Um, no, I think I'm gonna, excuse me, I think I'm gonna see if I can find somebody. That gives me time to order that extra part. Because I can get it on Amazon. Um, Lorco doesn't carry it, so I thought of going to Napa, but let's see what we have in here. I know. Maybe I can reach out to Lauren. Um, be an idea if that's something he can do. Uh, he's used to working on off-road vehicles and maybe I'll reach out to him. I met him once over on the island at Chrome Shop. Nice guy. Um, and I know that he's done a ton of mechanical stuff for Chrome. So maybe I'll reach out to him because he's in the area somewhere. Um, I'll reach out. Yeah, that might be the option. So you can see the gap here and then how it gets tight. Check the other side here. Gap 
and then push it on the light there. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is this. These washers here, there's four of them, or these nuts. There's one on either side here. Lift a bit more. Okay. It's so tiny in here. Oh. So we're gonna do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, we gotta take that one out. And put the two washers in. Okay, we gotta put the two washers in. You got it. I got the wedges in there to keep it apart for you, unless you need more. I don't. Them. You got the two washers? Yep, in my hand. Okay. Do I need to lift? No. Okay, I'll lift. No, I don't need to. Okay. Not yet. Now. Well, now what? Now lift. <laughs> you just told me you didn't need to lift. No, for the washers, I thought. Oh, okay. Got it? Yeah. Okay. There. There. Okay, so I'll take the wedges out. Got that wedge out. I get this wedge out. Oh shoot! Stuck? Yeah. I don't think you should pull it in yet. You got stuck in. There we go. in between just to lift it up a little um still the washers there um i got room if i wanted to lift it a little but i don't really need to so and everything's nice and tight now we are at united automotive interiors we're getting our headlights done today at united automotive interiors why are we getting our headlights redone well, number one, a sponsor sent me some headlights. Number two, this is why. You can see these ones are flaking. These ones we've had for a number of years now. Um, they're yellowing. A um, bit of wear here, it looks like. Um, you can see the rubbers kind of come off on these ones but more flaking, um, a lot of pit marks you can kind of see, all these little yellow, it's like fractures almost, and you can see all that too. Not all over the place. to adjust the um, bumper or the, for the lights 
because there's a gap in there, which is different. And I, it, it's still different. So I need to adjust it because if it's too tight, then it's going to crack the lights. So let's get to it. So I have it lifted up right now with a little jack stand. Um, but I've got washers to put in behind the bumper uh, to kick it out. Because right now it's like this, I need to kick it out a bit. And that will lower this side here. So I don't fit in my garage, but this is why I don't fit in my garage. You can kind of see. That's how tight it is. This only has um, only have two washers in there for a spacer. So I'm thickening that up. Um, two washers is equal to, I wonder if I do it that much. If I do four, kick it up enough. I got four there. I think I have enough for four there four on the other side and four so I have enough good these washers are a little bit thinner So when I lift the bumper up, it should stay right there. Okay, let's try this. I like these new lights. They kind of give it that animal look. And her name is Venom.